We're here in Bordentown with Jeff Tittle, the director of the Sierra Club. Um, Jeff, can you explain uh, why we're here on the banks of the Delaware River? We're here today uh, having a rally and a flotilla for clean water, protesting the PSCNG, Public Service Electric and Gases, Mercer Generating Station. Everybody knows that power plants you know, give out a tremendous amount of air pollution, and PSCNG is one of the largest greenhouse gas emitters from this plant in New Jersey, and it also burns coal, so it gives out a lot of other chemicals. And we all know about air pollution, but people don't realize that power plants are one of the major sources of water pollution in the country, and they are the actual largest uh, source of what's called depletive use, of robbing the rivers of water. And the PSENG plant here in uh, Mercer County, where we're going to have the kayakers go out and to draw attention to the pollution from it, every day sucks in hundreds of millions of gallons of fresh drinking water out of the Delaware River. And in that process, kills over 70 million fish a year, 30 different species of fish, including Atlantic and bottlenose sturgeon, which are endangered species. Not only that, but when it discharges that water back into the river, it's superheated, which causes also can cause fish kills and die-offs, can cause algae blooms and, uh, and cause rivers to lose oxygen. It also evaporates off the steam, which robs fresh water out of the river. But more importantly, it also dumps in with that superheated water all kinds of chemicals, a witch's brew that includes everything from algicides and fungicides to mercury and cadmium to heavy metals. And that gets into the river and gets into the fish and into the birds and even into us because we eat the fish. And so we're here today to call for DEP to stop their game, stop siding with PSE&G over clean water and over the public, and require cooling towers here at the Mercer Generating Station. Is there any impact uh, of this generating station on the drinking water supply? Well, people also have to realize that this discharged water, first they rob the water of millions of gallons of water every day, and two, they dump in all these chemicals that this plant sits above two of the major water supply intakes for the region. It's only a couple of miles above the Jersey American intake at, at Delran, which provides drinking water for one and a half million New Jerseyans, and the city of Philadelphia's water supply intake, which is on the other side of the river from Delran almost, which provides drinking water for two and a half million. So this plant not only kills fish, not only pollutes the river, but it actually impacts the drinking water supply for over four million people. And that's why we're here today, because DEP should do its job and require cooling towers. And we're looking to go to court because we think the DEP has given the polluters here a holiday long enough. Even though Columbus Day is a holiday, New Jersey DEP has been given the polluters a holiday even longer. On what basis are you uh, basing your, your court um, action? There's actually three potential suits. One is simply on the, the endangered species and, and killing Atlantic and bottlenose sturgeon, which have been listed by the Obama administration as endangered species. Two is the water impacts to the river. The Delaware River is impaired for mercury, and they're discharging mercury directly into the river. Um, and also, third now is the um, Obama administration's EPA just has adopted new rules on um, toxic releases into waterways uh, from power plants. And we believe that those are the kinds of course of actions that we can look at and have in, in opposing this power plant. But DEP had the authority under the Clean Water Act. You have to understand that this plant was originally grandfathered from the Clean Water Act, and that grandfathering DEP could have ended at any time with any permit. We're, we're going to have to end up going to court, we believe, because DEP is not doing its job. But DEP could require in their what's called water pollution discharge permit a closed-loop system. They have that authority. They've had that authority for years. They just chose to side with PSENG at the expense of the environment. Jeff Tittle, thank you.